Hello viewers, welcome back to Kickbox 2016. My name is Charles. We have been walking through module 3 where we have been talking about how to customize QuickBooks environment. This is the last video and it is video number 7 and is where I want to show you how to do a company file search. This is a feature that was introduced in, I think, in 2020 version, 2020 version, meaning it's not a feature that is common to, to versions that are prior to 2020. So, meaning this QuickBooks version of 2016, it doesn't actually have that feature company file research but the newer versions as we've said so these are some of the things that we are going to see to be seeing in the newer versions as i told you that's why i had to start with something that is all a bit old and we keep on seeing the new things but even when we are talking about the old version the all the older versions we also keep on highlighting so that those who are using the newer versions they can't actually miss out. So, if you're using a version that is 2020 or 2021 and above, you'll find that you'll have this item. And it is a very helpful tool when you are working with a lot of company files and you can't find a specific one or you can't find a specific key QuickBooks file that you actually want to work on. So what you do, you can actually search that you can search through QuickBooks and you can be able to find it. So maybe to just go into QuickBooks and I just show you where you may actually find it if you are using a newer version and I show you how it works. So when you first open QuickBooks, all these are shown when you've just logged in or when you have just opened the QuickBooks. And let me show you where they are. So let me first close off this company file. Let me close it. It's going to close. It might take some time, but it is going to open up. So when you open QuickBooks for the first time, just like the way we are doing it now, it's like we've just opened the QuickBooks. That's the dialog box that comes up. No company open. Select a company that you have previously opened and click open. That's the, the, the window that I'm talking about. So, so if you can't, because now if you're seeing on this platform here, you can see when I click here, I can click on this, I can click on this. This shows only five company files. It shows only five company files. So just like the way the way you can just click on this company file and I open it. So the question is, if at all I have very many companies, I've been working on very many company files, how am I going to be able to open a file that I'm looking for? Because it's not shown on those first or last modified files that we are seeing there. Because it on, that one only shows five companies. So what you can do. You can choose, there is where you can choose with, in that new version when you click open here, you'll find a search option. When you click open, it will allow you to be able to search. It will give you an option where you, you can put in the company details and you'll be able to search for that company file. Just, just, this, just like the same way you would open or you would be searching, let's say, a spreadsheet file, a word file, a word document, and all that. So the same way we do that, when you click open, it will give you option of how to, to search. But for now, it's not there since we've said it is on the newer versions. So, and maybe there is, because now, what happens is that when you, when you have ever, open the company file even if it is not here 
and maybe you had saved that copy on your computer you can search in your computer when you have not closed this link you just open there and go and search your computer where you store where you store those things because there are those people that are going to be working on customers and they are saving their company files on an external drive hard disk or theirs they are saving on any, any external storage device so you insert the storage device in your phone and you you search for the company file that you want to work to work in it may be a backup copy and you want to just copy that item and you start finishing it up with maybe the things that you had not completed before you hand it over to the person you are you are doing it for so that is one of the way that you can actually because you can have you can copy that and condense that company file and be able to send it through email you give it to different customers you can send the company file to the customer through an email after you have condensed it so those files that you are going to condense they are going to look like they are smaller so that they can be able to be shared on email so if you want to search for any company company file in quickbooks there there is that option that would allow you to type in the name of the company file that you want to open and then you can hit the search on the screen and it will search for you the, that file in your local drive it may be in a removable media like the hard disk and all that or you are using the flash so as long as the flash has been installed in your computer you can actually log in and be able to search it out and it will come so it will be able to search your network and be able to have that document for you to review so once the file that you would like to open you have seen it you can just double click the file and you, uh, you can be able to to file to open that file so that's a quick way to search your com to search your company file in a computer using quickbooks so so that's going to be the wrap up of model 3 and we have been talking about customizing quickbooks environment so since we have actually gone through all the things that we wanted to cover under module 3 allow me to move over to the next module that is going to be module 4 now where we are going to be talking about working with customers and jobs in quickbooks that's going to be in our module for working with customers and jobs in quickbooks we we'll see you then